welcome to the coolest tutorial of python so let's introduce you with python if you don't know python here's the time to know everything about a python and let's start this so let's talk about python about python yes so python is created by Guido von Rossum in 1989 and this man is super cool thank you then in 1991, this Python became open sourced. Open source means it is now available on 1991. It was available to everyone. Then it's a scripting language. And what about scripting language? A scripting language means it doesn't need any compiler. This means it directly convert your code into machine code. Super cool thing. And Python is a object oriented language and if we will talk about these things object oriented what it is in the later episodes but think about object oriented as some awesome way of coding or writing your program so let's move on wow so about Python it open source language as I have told you and you can free to distribute create modify Python codes so where this Python name came from I think you already guessed it right. Python name came from the snake python and that's why it has the logo of snake. <laughs> I'm sorry bro, this is wrong. The python name actually came from not snake but with this Monty Python a comedian group and Guido has watched Python's that means Monty Python group's comedian show and he was so much in love with that that when he decided to name his language he gave a tribute to this group by naming it Python so no snake nothing <laughs> then where this original idea came from actually Guido want to create a language between the shell script and C programming so that the programming language has to be so easy that it can be taught to kids in the school Python has a great capability that you can just read it just like you read English and that's the USB or that's why Python is so popular and so easy to use so Python is an extended form of ABC language Gudo worked so before creating Python Gudo was working with some company and they have decided to create a language which they named ABC but obviously that project was dismissed because of some reasons but Gudo got the idea that okay we need to create a language which is super easy just like we taught ABC we need to taught ABC language and then he got that idea and create his own language and that is Python so uses of Python okay hold your breath because there is so much for Python so widely used general purpose language used in web development used in data science artificial intelligence image processing high level calculations oh my god it's not the end bro let's move on why Python is so famous Python is so famous because it is used in Dropbox most of the Dropbox is created with Python and you know the creator of Dropbox has said that if Python language was not there Dropbox will not possible then Instagram services then Facebook data analysis as I have told you Python is used for data analysis and data science and you know Facebook has so much of the data that you can't think about that and to process to analyze that data you need uh, not you <laughs> Facebook need Python and then internet tooling of Google again the initial setup when the Google was initially created then it was mostly written in Python and obviously even now most of the part of the Google that means just like if you type something it just give you suggestions everything all the artificial intelligence type of things done with the Python but why that Python become so big how this becomes so big because Python was created open source and there was a huge 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 community of Python and everybody is creating powerful libraries for Python so there are some cool and super useful libraries just like 
Psychic Learn. Then Scrappy, you can create your own web scrapper with this. And TensorFlow for uh, machine learning. And these three are super famous, all written in Python. And it's an interpreter language. What that mean interpreted language? So an interpreter runs every line and if an error comes, it stop execution. This means the interpreted language, just like Python, doesn't require any compiler because a compiler runs the code in one go and give you error list. So suppose you write a program, you have three errors on that program, then if you are running that program in Python, then Python will give you first error when you run the code, not before that. Obviously, you need to run the code. But for other languages like C++, you need to compile it. That means a compiler will check all your code and it will tell, okay, you have three errors, just correct that and then you are able to run that. So this is not the case. So that's why Python is so fast also. Then Java, C and other language need compiler to create an executable file. So you have a code, you have a compiler, then you have an executable file. So this is not the case in Python because Python directly convert your program into machine language. This means there is a runtime compiler. You can call it runtime compiler, but actually there is no compiler. Okay, so error will only occur if you run the program. And the most important part of Python is that Unlike other languages, Python is case sensitive. So Python and this Python is not equal as, as I have told you, then spacing is super important in Python. And you have probably worked with other languages that to create a certain block, you need some kind of curly braces. But in Python, you just need a space or indentation. So it's like if you are creating an if statement, that should be like if then you don't need anything to like just like curly braces you just need a one indentation and you just hit a tab then hello so this means this hello now inside if statement this is for python but if you write this thing this means if statement is there but this hello this this one hello is not a part of if statement because this is not indented so all these things related to Python are enough to encourage you to learn Python. And in the next episode, we are going to see how we can install Python in Mac as well as in Windows operating system. So stay tuned to learn cool thing about the Python. And if you have not subscribed, don't forget to subscribe and hit bell icon for great tutorials like this and other we have and if you have not liked just go and like bitfumes on facebook twitter and instagram share this video with your developer friend because i think i don't think many tutorials will give this much of information about just about python so we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye